Welcome to this video where we use one ChatGPT prompt to solve a Kaggle competition. In this particular video, we are solving how to predict smoker status using bio signals. I don't know how this is. Now, I don't know what this is. So we're going to find out using ChatGPT, solve the problem, make a submission and see what kind of score we generate. But before we dive in, hey, my name is Kunal Naik. I'm the founder of Data Science Masterminds and a senior data scientist. I'm on a mission to help you learn and apply data science effectively so that you can grow your career and 3x your salary. So quickly smash that subscribe button and also like and also hit the like button so that I know that you love this particular video and I can continue to make more of it. Now you also now, if you have any other questions regarding solving problems and how to use. Now, if you have any other questions regarding how to use ChatGPT to solve problems, please mention that in the comment section below. It will allow me to make more videos depending on the comments that I receive. So let's get started. I have this binary prediction of smoker status using biosignals competition. This particular data has been generated using smoker status status prediction using biosignals data so the data set is originally uploaded by let's say Gaurav Datta and what Kaggle has done is taken this particular data and converted that into a competition and added some more fake data on top of it so we're going to be using this one then I'm just going to go down here and say join competition the first step is obviously to download the data and keep it uh, maybe in the future i'm just going to download all the data sets and keep them all ready so we save some time so i'm just going to say download all and it's going to be downloading the data so i'm just going to put it here somewhere uh, let me just move that around should be yeah there should be here so take this particular data set and I'm going to dump it in this location here. So this one is playground series, series season 3 E24. I am basically going to rename this to a much more better one, right? So first I'm going to unzip this one. That one, copy this. Paste it here. Two. And this is going to be a classification problem. Classification smoker status prediction. So I have that. Now I can go into that and open up the train data. So, first of all, we need the columns and this data has opened up we have the columns here which we are going to use so i'm just going to take all of this column that we have go here and and just paste it like that so this is what we'll be using in our prompts and i'm just keeping a collection of all the columns that i'm encountering definitely the target column is hardness in the previous one in this particular one it's smoking and these are the columns the id columns that are available so we don't need those while building the model so we got that now what we need to do is go to the prompt template that i have designed in the previous video which is the most the most i don't know what that is in the previous problem statement we predicted some most hardness this is the one and there was some tweaks that I needed to do the prompt. So I've done that and now it's going to work a lot more better, hopefully. So I'm going to take the smoking column, get to this particular place. And first of all, give it the target column. So we gave the target column. This is our target column. Uh, we want to exclude ID column from building the model. So I'm going to do that. And we are only going to exclude it from the, uh, what is it, train data so that it doesn't use that for building the model. So we're going to exclude that. The evaluation metric, now you need to know what the evaluation metric is. So we're going to go back to the overview 
and see if they have mentioned that here somewhere maybe in the data section or let's, let's go back to overview yeah evaluation so it's roc curve uh, so we're going to say roc curve roc curve and the model name is we can choose any other model for simplicity we are going to choose say logistic regression okay now this is again the base model which means uh, we are attempting to get the the solution one prompt solution using just the base solution uh, using logistic regression which is the base solution and it has to be improved so if you have any ideas that you encounter while you're playing around with chat gpt please mention that in the comment section i will also learn from you but uh, the hope is to ensure that we reduce the time to solve machine learning problems using chat gpt so we've configured this just to give you the background we have a prompt in which we need to create a submission file and make submit to the competition then we need some configuration which is what is the evaluation metric what is the model name then what is the target column any columns that we need to remove and all the other columns so that the python code can take and use this particular codes now while we are solving we may encounter certain problems which is okay but the attempt is to try to get it done through one prompt anyway so moving on let's go ahead and enter and write a code here within kaggle so i'm going to take new code and i'm kaggle.com So just so, so that you know there is one prompt moss hardness predictions that was the previous one that we use and again i'm going to name this as one prompt smoker status prediction okay so that's the name and we are ready to now finally put our prompt into the chat gpt and see if we get the solution so i'm just going to go ahead and copy this We'll go ahead to chat gpt and paste it and let's see if it gives a solution okay so it has given the code this time it has given everything in one shot which is good so we're just going to go ahead and copy this one we'll go here and paste it now i'm going to expand this a little bit now we don't need the prompt so we've got the solution and we're going to break few things apart here which is i'm just going to add a few cells here so that code code few cells here i'm going to take maybe load data section and below to this point and then also take this data to below point so it's better to chunk it out so that if there are any errors you can resolve it i'm just going to run this one so it imports the necessary libraries required and then this change we need to make where we need to get train and test data this is the only change that we need to make uh, we go over here get the train data and paste it get the test data and then paste it so we pasted that got it looks good and then let's import the data Our data is also imported and then we can chunk this a little bit better also which is till fit part right we can have it in a separate cell and the rest of them in a separate cell here okay now let's look at the part here where we are fitting the cell so we've imported the packages imported the data and then uh, we are building the model here Just let's add this import packages okay. 
okay so i'm just gonna code that get that code here and delete this markdown and import data build model make predictions and submission so we've broken this into these four parts now the load part is done now we come to this particular point target column is equal to smoking which is good it identified that train data we dropped id and we are taking the train data uh, we have the x we have the y uh, we did some train test split which is good we did the model logistic regression and then it fitted so this works fine let's see if it fits the model it did fit the model and it says and you have failed to converge what i can do is if i don't know what to do with this what i can just do is go back here and paste this right let's see what it will do okay so it's saying increase the iteration so i'm just going to copy this particular code and paste it here so it can resolve this particular error now at some point it may give the entire code so you can just refresh the entire code and do it but if you know where to change just do that so even without knowing this knowledge i just gave it back seems like it's working uh, id not found in access it says uh, there is some problem oh yeah because we ran this and we removed id we have to re-import the data so i'm going to run this again and rerun the modeling part i believe we have to break all of this down but for now you can just leave it okay same problem again it has reached the limits so we can just increase this again now we don't need to run that again and again so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the code here and rerun the model so that we don't have to redo that step So it has successfully run it without any warning which is good so we can move on to the next step and we're going to predict probability this is required probably to ensure that we are able to calculate this roc curve which is also good and we we it has calculated the roc auc curve and it's going to print it right so if it's going to print it what i'm going to do is i'm just going to break the code here so that i can see what the print is so let's run it and the ROC AUC curve is giving a score of 0.83 which is good enough we don't know how it's going to rank but let's see now what we do is we take the test data uh, predict and then create our submission file we don't want index here for some reason it keeps giving the index we want the ID column itself so just going to say here ID 
please note we don't want index we want the id column within this particular part right so hopefully the submission.csv should get created let's run it and see if it got created okay there's an error key error id it says um, so for test data it's dropping the id here we don't want that right so what we will do here is that we will remove this particular line right and then just run this okay id got dropped so we're going to re-import the data test data so that we have fresh piece of data and then let's run it okay there's a problem during fit it should be id i don't know if in the train data it included the id okay so again the same problem feature name should match those that were there passed during fit feature names unseen at fit time is id okay it's good okay so let's look at test data what it has dot uh, fit it has id definitely oh okay got it so what we need to do while you're making the prediction we need to remove the data right so if you see this code right we just need to drop it while we are making prediction not like from the data set itself so while we are making predictions we do it not overwrite so don't overwrite it uh, while you're doing that same issue it's having again so we should resolve this particular prompt anyway so submission.csv is made i can save this version i just take maybe i'll go to make it public and save this and i'm going to say quick save and save this one now let's see the the solution is done but let's see if we can get any response to it okay it's saved and then we are ready to make a submission file okay and we'll say submit So the submission is completed and our score is 83 and I can go back and see see if our compet uh, where we rank in this competition. So we're going to go load leaderboard and we'll jump to our position. So our score is like point, point 0.83 or something like that. So let's go ahead and see where point 0.83 is. Okay, that's way below definitely not a solution that we that's good enough okay so we have to do some hyperparameter optimization play around with scaling and all of that so somewhere here uh, our score is 1400 definitely not a good result but a good place to start with so if you have any solutions to improve this uh, do mention that in the comment section now i've saved this code if you go to the code section and if you look for one prompt you should be able to get that solution okay so i'll place that in the comment section below now as always guys i have rushed through so many other of the things but as always do let me know what you like and what else i can cover to improve and help you grow learn and grow so mention that in the comment section your feedback and comments really mean a lot to me uh, until then see you in the um until then thank you see you in the next competition